I work for the United States Agency for International Development, uh, the Office of U.S. Foreign Disaster Assistance. Um, and so OFTA is the uh, lead United States government coordinator for international disasters. Um, so we're coordinating the humanitarian response here in Dominica. One of the focuses of this response uh, in Dominica has been heavy duty plastic sheeting because many, many people lost roofs. Um, the majority of the population actually lost their roofs. So we've been focusing on the distribution of the heavy duty plastic sheeting, as well as uh, teaching and using community members to teach the community how to properly apply and use the material uh, so that in the case of um, you know further storms and rain that they're, they're using the material properly. Um, some of the other uh, focuses of this response have been uh, bringing in commodities, humanitarian relief commodities. Um, so plastic sheeting is part of it and other non-food items uh, such as kitchen sets and we're also doing food assistance. Um, so kind of all across the board, all sorts of different uh, humanitarian relief commodities. Uh, sure. So um, on Tuesday, uh, we were able to successfully deliver uh, two flights of humanitarian commodities to the affected population of Grand Bay. Um, Grand Bay had previously been inaccessible uh, due to hurricane-affected landslides and bridge damage. Um, so the population hadn't, uh, hadn't received um, too much humanitarian assistance to that point. We were able to deliver two uh, helicopter loads uh, of different relief commodities, uh, including some piping that helped restore the water distribution network. We also delivered some food assistance, um, some, so some bags of rice, and then also some non-food items uh, such as kitchen sets. And on that day, uh, members of the disaster assistance response team, uh, members of the joint task force, as well as members of the community, um, all unloaded the helicopters and delivered um, all of those relief commodities uh, for distribution in the affected community. So working with the Joint Task Force and uh, United States Southern Command on this response um, has been great because of all of the unique capabilities of DOD. Um, Southcom has actually delivered over 75 metric tons of humanitarian relief commodities to the affected region um, in the responses to Hurricane Irma and Her Her Hurricane Maria. Um, so it's, you know, that's an incredible incredible amount of uh, commodities that were delivered and more flights went out yesterday and today so that number is even bigger now. I've um, been here in the Caribbean since early September. Um, I was first on St. Martin uh, responding to Hurricane Irma um, and then have been now here in Guadalupe supporting my team uh, who's based down in Dominica. Um, and it's just, it's been an incredible response working with the um, host population, the host, um, the host governments, uh, working with different NGOs, working with the United States Southern Command. Um, it's, it's been an incredible response and uh, it's, it's incredible to see how destructive a hurricane can be. Uh, this is my first hurricane response that I've been on the ground for and it's kind of just incredible to see, uh, you know, trees just snapped in half and houses completely destroyed. Um, it's incredible to see what, what wind can do. And um, I think it's been a great response. The United States government working, working together with um, the Office of U.S. Foreign Disaster Assistance and the Joint Task Force, uh, U.S. Southern Command. Um, I think we've, we've brought a lot, of, uh, a lot of good relief to the affected communities 